I recently made a video about soft serve, which if you haven't seen, all you need to know is that she's a mutant that makes ice cream by pooping it. And a commenter made a joke about what if soft serve had her own movie or TV show in the MCU. And I've seen many different videos on YouTube about making pitches for Man of Steel 2 or a Spider-Man 4. So I thought I would do my best and make this trend weird by pitching a soft serve Disney Plus show that will be five episodes. And I actually put a lot of thought into this. So I really hope you like it. It is intended to be a comedy. Don't take anything serious or dark. It takes place in the MCU after She-Hulk, and before we start, I think I'll give you a rundown on what from the MCU will be included. For example, Daredevil is actually in this, as is Leapfrog. There's also some other comic book characters who make their debut here, Soft Server Self, of course, Ice Cream, Swarm, Callisto. It also introduces other mutants into the MCU in the form of Morlocks. Let's get started. Episode 1, Cold Gutted, a woman named Sophie Survey, which I made up because in the comics she has yet to be given a real name, has been having some stomach pains. She works at an ice cream parlor, but hasn't been able to go to work because of feeling sick for the past week. She stays at home and watches the news about different superheroes, including She-Hulk, Daredevil, and Hawkeye. In that moment, she feels inspired as she relieves herself in bed, crapping the bed sheets, only to discover it's not poop, but vanilla ice cream. And figures out that she has this incredible power to poop out ice cream. After this, she feels better and goes back to work the next day. When they have a problem as more and more people crowd in the ice cream store, and the machine breaks like every McDonald's ice cream machine. And while they panic, Sophie is on her own. And at this very moment, she makes a bold move. She decides the only way to protect this place's reputation is to poop ice cream into cones and give it to customers, making her feel heroic like she has done something good, when in reality, it's just really gross. <laughs> End credit scene. We see a bee land on a ice cream cone that was left off in the street. And it tastes its creamy flavor. Then we see this isn't just a bee, but a bee a part of a swarm. That swarm then forms into a man. This is the swarm, the villain from the comics. And he has a taste for soft serves ice cream. And he needs more. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> I'm sorry, it's so stupid. I know I made it, but it's so stupid. Episode 2, We All Scream for Ice Cream. Yes, I'm sorry, I like making ice cream puns. Sophie's been feeling good about herself lately. She's been made Employee of the Month, even, because of her pooping in ice cream cones, saying that she did not tell any of the other employees because she would be fired. However, a part of her feels sad of these powers. But then she finds something suspicious, melted ice cream on the wall of her apartment, telling her to meet someone on the roof. She goes up to meet the man on the roof, and his name is Eye Cream. Like her... He has ice cream powers, and explains to her why it was. They're something called mutants. And while there are many mutants, for example, there was a sighting of a man of metal claws in a bar fight, and Ms. Marvel, a public superhero. Eye cream thought she should talk to someone of a power said that it was more similar to hers. They have a heart to heart, where we are told Sophie has a very, just, weird life. She's always felt very awkward and like she is little. She's always been someone in the background, someone that is meant to be taken as a joke. And now that she has these powers, it makes her even more of a joke. It just makes her feel subconscious. But this talk is interrupted by the swarm of bees attacking them. And then they demonstrate their powers, and they see that, in a way, they are powerful, but not at the same time. For example, they use their powers by submerging the bees in ice cream which actually kills a couple of them. The swarm sees that he's no match and flies away. Soft Surf still feels kind of subconscious about herself. That her powers are kind of stupid and they're kind of ridiculous. But she sees that maybe they're useful too. Then comes the post credit scene. Sophie's back in her apartment with ice cream where he gives her a gift. A superhero costume, a white outfit with an ice cream cone head. Where he tells her to stop hiding who she is and embrace it. Which she does going by the new spear name, Soft Serve. Episode 3, Serving a Cold. Sophie has embraced the role of a superhero, having quit her job in a dramatic fashion, feeling like maybe she could do more as a hero. But in her first time trying to help save someone, they instantly laugh at her, which actually makes her feel awkward. She hears about Leapfrog out as a villain, and that Daredevil and Shiok had defeated him, but he has recently escaped prison. And she decides that she's going to prove she's a real hero by going after him. She ends up getting help with Eye Cream, who she has a bit of a flirtation with. Who might have a crush on her, or maybe she has a crush on him, or maybe neither. 
The two work together to find Leapfrog, only to find him in a local mall. The two try to fight him, but he actually wins. And when Leapfrog is about to escape, Daredevil shows up and easily defeats Leapfrog as Sophie witnesses this, feeling even more insecure about herself. And that maybe even as a hero she isn't really anything. People keep laughing at her. She couldn't even defeat someone who's dressed up like a frog. Post credit scene, we see in the sewers there where some of Sophie's ice cream has made it down there after pooping it out into a toilet. And we see that there's a group of people living down here. Some who look rather disfigured. A woman with rainbow skin, a green kid with bumps all over, a lady with literal bones piercing out of her. All led by none other than a woman with an eye patch, named Callisto. The other members are Leech, Morrow, and Tommy. I shorten the team because I think that there's not enough room for all the members here. And I think these four are personally, in my opinion, my personal favorites. So if you wanted characters like Caliban, I'm sorry. Episode 4, The Morlocks. This episode is about the Morlocks, a group of mutants discovering the ice cream in the sewer, which for one of the mutant powers can figure out that it's rather unusual and actually comes from another mutant. Callisto is a rather cold leader, and is afraid that this mutant might create problems for the Morlocks. Callisto sends up Morrow to the ground to most likely try to deal with this mutant, as she's the one that could also blend in most likely. With her able to actually have her spikes stay in her body, well, yes, I know that isn't a thing in the comics, but the MCU has changed things before. So, Morrow here can decide when she wants her spikes out and when she wants her spikes in now. Morrow goes to find Sophie, who is trying her best to be a superhero but is still failing. But when Morrow finds Sophie, Ice Cream helps Sophie in a fight against Morrow with them misunderstanding Morrow's intentions. But the fight will be interrupted with the rest of the Morlocks appearing. Legion uses his powers to depower Ice Cream and soft serve. The Morlocks take them down to the sewer, where they have no idea what is going on. Callista wants to know how Sophie's powers work, which she demonstrates once she gets her powers back, which actually creeps them out. Callisto sees Soft Serve is just like the Morlocks, in a way that she's a freak mutant. Callisto also seems to have a history of ice cream, having once been a Morlock himself, but left. They decided to stay with the Morlocks for a couple of days, where she taught how to live like them, how to survive in the sewer but doesn't think they need to hide because of who they are. We also see during these days, Callisto and Ice Cream have a bit of a fling, flirting back and forth. The Morlocks offer Soft Serve and Ice Cream to join them, but Sylvia has a life and declines them. But Ice Cream actually, on the other hand, doesn't want to leave, and stays behind with the Morlocks. post credit scene, the swarm of bees in the form of a man are walking the streets and find the crime scene that Soft Serve had fought Morrow at. And they find some leftover ice cream, where the bees eat it. They crave the ice cream, it's the sweetest thing they've ever ate. And now, they need more. Episode 5, Sticky Bees. The swarm of bees have been going throughout the world looking for soft serve, as for the past few days we've been with the Morlocks. The swarm have yet to get over the taste of the ice cream. The swarm is absolutely craving it. They find soft serve at work, where she has been rehired. When the swarm of bees attack her, wanting her ice cream. In this moment, we learn that Swarm is actually also a mutant, a person that was once a regular human that was turned into a Swarm of Bees, when his mutant powers kicked in. But as they fight, Soft Surf tells him he doesn't need to be the villain, that people like them need to stick together. But Swarm doesn't care, he just wants her ice cream. A fight goes down in the ice cream parlor with Soft Surf outsmarting the Swarm. When she uses the ice cream machine, she just poops in the ice cream machine with her ice cream, which tricks the Swarm on going into the machine, to which she shuts and traps him in it. This victory makes Sophie feel like she's a real hero, that she's earned the name Soft Serve. And afterwards, she has an after party with the Morlocks, who want to have it in the sewer, but Sophie refuses, saying that they shouldn't be ashamed of who they are, and they go out to a nice restaurant, where people stare and think they're weird and talk crap behind their back, but they don't care, and they don't think that people should make them feel that way. They don't think that they should be invalidated to who they are. The end. Last post credit scene. The ice cream machine that the swarm was trapped in has been taken by Val, who says she has no use for the swarm for her team, and exterminates the bees. Did you like this pitch? I really had fun doing this. I wanted to have a positive message, which I think I did manage to do. And that's it. Like always, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.